Hey guys, this is my home theater setup in my family room. This is a 5.2 setup with dual subs. In my opinion, you don't need a latest and greatest equipment for an awesome sounding uh, home theater. You can pretty much build a good uh, home theater under any budget. The subwoofer uh, is uh, from Mirage and the speakers that you see there uh, were from a company called AV123. It's an internet direct company, it's no longer functional, but there are several internet direct companies where you can buy speakers, subwoofers and even receivers for that matter. Uh, that's where uh, you can get most bang for your buck. While this is great, why stop here? If you have space, you can easily convert this into a full-blown home theater and uh, that would probably cost you less than what you will pay for a flagship Sony or a Samsung 4K 75 inch TV. So this is my basement home theater setup. Nothing fancy but highly functional. From the outside it might look like it cost me a lot of money but today we're going to talk about how to set up a functional home theater under a budget. This is a sound point one system and for the processor I use Onkyo and the amp is uh, Sherborne. Uh, the Sherborne is no longer available anymore. Uh, the speakers are uh, Axiom and SVS subwoofer. Again, uh, nothing fancy here. And my rear speakers for uh, my sound point one setup. Projector is uh, 1080p. Uh, one thing you need to remember is uh, home theater is a money pit. So no matter how much you spend, you will always find something better. So when you design a home theater, keep a budget and work within the budget. And if you have money to burn, you can always upgrade the individual components. Another important component of your home theater system is a light control room. So this is my basement. I'm just gonna close the windows uh, with the cutting and then uh, turn off the lights. So this is dark enough for daytime viewing and the quality is absolute best when it's total dark. So most of the time I use my home theater in the night. Okay, let's talk about the heart of the home theater system. Obviously it's the projector. Let's turn this on. This is a Mitsubishi 3D DLP projector, approx uh, seven years old. And nowadays you can get uh, better projectors, but back in the days, uh, DLP was uh, widely known for its uh, color reproduction, especially if you are uh, if you have a tight budget. So nowadays you can get a basic uh, 1080p projector for uh, 400 500 dollars, and if you are uh, looking in, like in a budget, uh, then uh, BenQ, Optimo are uh, two good brands. They offer uh, quite a range of projectors starting from 400 500 dollars, and BenQ even gives you a short throw projector if you don't have uh, this much space in your uh, basement or living room. If you are interested in 4K, then you have a uh, you know upscaled 4K uh, pixel shift. It's called. Uh, it may cost you around, uh, you know, starting from $1,500. If you want a true 4K projector, then, you know, be prepared to spend like two or three grand. JVC, I think, makes a true 4K. Uh, but uh, for a 1080p, you know, uh, as I said, BenQ Optima, if you are in budget. If you have money to spend, then uh, Panasonic, Epson are uh, some good choices. So you saw some sample clips. This screen is approx uh, 150 inch uh, in diagonal. And these two windows at the top uh, didn't really help me with the screen design. So I settled with 150 inch. Obviously, we could have gone uh, bigger and obviously bigger is better. Uh, this screen, let me take a, let me go close. This, I'm not going to touch the screen. This is just plain wall with white paint. I put a border in black color so the screen just pops. And uh, most of the movies nowadays are comes in widescreen, so all the movies fit perfectly inside the frame. So this works really better. Obviously, you can spend more and uh, put a cloth screen, or even there are some uh, special paints for the home theater screen that will make your uh, image pop. Obviously, you're gonna spend more for that. So this is standard white paint that you get from Lowe's, and uh, I just painted like two or three coats, and that's it. So next comes speakers. Speakers are another money pit, so I would say start with 5.1 setup and gradually go to sound point one. And Atmos is up to you. I mean, unless you want to, uh, you know, you have money to burn. So the speakers that you see here are from Axiom. They have uh, uh, two tweeters and two mids. Not many like them, but uh, for the movies, they work great. Again, I got them for uh, super cheap. The front, uh, left, right, and center only cost me 400 bucks. So I was like, why not? 
if you're happy with the sound i would say stop there and don't spend much you can uh, get good sound for less and you can spend you know a few couple of grants more uh, to get a marginally better sound when it comes to movies subwoofer plays a key role you, you really need a good subwoofer to enjoy your movies this one that you see here is uh, from SVS. Uh, this is probably 10 years old and I probably spent a lot of money replacing the individual components of this subwoofer. I replaced the amp and uh, you can see some of the vents uh, sitting there and I replaced the drivers and it's still running. At some point I will probably change this. Subwoofer go from uh, you know 240 bucks to all the way to four grand. So it really again uh, it depends on how much money you have and how much space you have. Uh, the bigger SVS, you know, they are really huge. So, so buy a subwoofer that fits your uh, floor plan. Next comes uh, electronics. So that's a uh, power uh, conditioner. You really don't need it. I got it for 25 bucks. So again, why not? Uh, for the receiver, Onkyo's are our best bet for budget. I started with the Onkyo 850. Uh, it's known as like one of the biggest powerhouse back then. And then I upgraded to a processor and amp model. So when you go that, uh, you know, your amplifier always stays the same and uh, in theory, you just change your processor. Again, this has been running for the last 15 years and I haven't changed any of them. Uh, Sherborne is, uh, now it's called Emotiva. Uh, I bought when Sherborne was on closeout. Emotiva was, uh, was back then a great alternative for uh, budget amplifiers and they used to be around 500, 600 bucks, but nowadays uh, the price has gone way up. So. Uh, if you want a really good sound and have money, I would say go with the amp and uh, processor model. If not, a good uh, Denon or Onkyo receiver uh, should uh, pretty much do. Here are a few examples on what you can buy. Uh, this is like 650 bucks. You can pretty, you're pretty much done with your uh, 5.1 setup. All you have to buy is amp. Or you can go uh, still cheaper and Yamo speakers. Uh, they are okay for movies, not great for uh, music, but for a 5.1 uh, setup under uh, so 800 bucks that's pretty good deal yeah. if you have more money to spend you can spend more again uh, clips uh, with the atmos enabled speakers these are just some examples you can now uh, buy a package deal or buy uh, individual components so if you spend a thousand dollars for a good uh, projector and then another thousand dollars for your uh, speakers you are pretty much done with your home theater under two thousand bucks i hope this helps thanks for watching